Here's a good video. So, why is it that white people aren't allowed to make music and be famous? Why can't white people make music and make make it on YouTube or make it anywhere else? Because, uh, you know, I noticed that there's this band I remember when I was a kid who I assumed there was white people in that band. It was called Bound for Glory. And, uh, you know, I didn't check their bloodlines or anything, but it seemed like a Germanish type band. And it was like really good music. It had a... Uh, it had uh, all the elements that the other music has. Just it was about white people. There was songs about uh, white heritage, and, and then there was hateful songs too. But I mean, who really cares? Like, I've got plenty of music hateful about killing off uh, everything on the planet. Um, I mean, it, that's hateful. But but that's Hollywood. That's allowed. I'm allowed to have a song uh, about. Ex I'm not. But. They are allowed to make songs about exterminating everyone. And, I mean, that is, like, generally what is famous out there right now. That is, like, the good music, even, at this point. And, they, and I believe they do tailor music. And they'll make, like, bad music with, like, a message that shouldn't get across. And then they'll make good music, really good music, with a message they want to put across. I'm pretty sure I've been seeing this happening. And, um... So, like, I just wanted to, like, I, I used to play a Bound for Glory song. It was, like, one of the first ones I got. The love for my folk, it will never fade. And no more will I fight to keep from being enslaved. And now that we know the truth about our past, the fire in our hearts will forever last. So we stand in the warrior circle. Anyways, this is a good song. Like, I keep wanting to hear that because that was, like, one of the first songs I've ever learned on guitar, like, by myself and stuff. Um, so, so like, I always want to go back to it and play that song. I, I mean, it was, like, really one of the best. The Fight Goes On was really, like, one of the best metal albums out there, period. But no one knows who Bound for Glory was because Bound for Glory was on a special label called Resistance under Dr. William Luther Pierce. And, um, like, that's, that's actually what Resistance was about. That's why he created the Resistance record label, because he claimed that Hollywood was making, he was like some crazy neo-Nazi guy, uh, uh, making, uh, he actually was, he was like a physicist. He was like, he was like one of the only ones I found that wasn't crazy, so I would like read some of his stuff. Um, not really a lot, especially not back then. I wasn't interested. But as I learned what's going on in the world around me, I was like, wait a minute, I was being taught this stuff as a kid. And I started to look back at it all. And, uh... Did he write the Turner Diaries? Was he the one who wrote that? Anyways, um... You know, he created Resistance because he said that Hollywood wasn't allowing European people to make music. And, like, at that, I really didn't understand anything at that time. I didn't know anything about anything. <laughs> I just thought it was really good music. It was. It, it, it's, like, really talented stuff. But, but that has been, like, scrubbed off the Internet. As good as it is. Now, there's all this, these other bands. Anyone else can make hateful music. And, um, hell, it, it's like posts. Like, I could... I can always, like, insult and make fun of white people. And I've done that my whole life. I'm white. I, I like making fun of people around me so they can learn to act better, maybe. I mean, just whatever. It's just a joke, right? In general, to me, it's just a joke. It's not like I was like some of the people I know who, who like, went around to gay bars beating people up or anything like that. Like, I kind of thought that was weird. And I'm like, yeah, you know. Like, like the music's cool. Like, they can... Yeah, I'm listening to rap all the time, and they're constantly bashing gays. And, uh, you know, um, I like NWA, niggas with attitude. And that was pretty, you know, I, I, I more like, like the members of that band. And I like Public Enemy. I, I definitely like Public Enemy. You know, that's, a, that's got some anti-white tones to it. But, um, 
Yeah, it sucks that they, I can't find that music anymore, man. One of the first songs I learned to play on my own. And uh, it, it was just like really good metal music. I put it up there with Metallica and Megadeth, who later I put Iced Earth up there. And if you don't know who Iced Earth is, well, you do. You just don't know. Um, that's John Schaefer, who was at the Capitol recently. Uh, he's a famous star. No, nothing to see there. Move along, folks. And, and there really isn't, unless you're like me and you've seen this stuff up close, where directors like James Belushi show up at Antifa riots. And, and yeah, like, some of you guys in the city, you might have some of those Antifa and stuff, and it's not a riot, and you're like, you might be like, oh, well, you're overplaying it. And it's like, no, this is different, bro. This is like a war. This is like a war zone. Literally. And it, it looked like some professional Hollywood stuff, too. But James Belushi, director, showed up uh, at one of them. Along other times, I had seen uh, stuff looking like it was staged. And um, I assumed I've seen directors, you know, people dress nice uh, at this riot. And I'm like, well, why are you dressing up nice to come down here and get shot with rubber bullets and tear gas? The, the tear gas is going to destroy your suit. The, the mace is going to destroy your suit, dude. Like, no one else dressed like that except for me there at these events, right? <laughs> So, I was just uh, I was spending the last few years analyzing the humans. I spent my whole life analyzing the humans, and, and um, more recently, the last few years, I've like intentionally and I subconsciously was doing it for like thirty years, and then in the last ten years, I intentionally begin to study the Earth and the humans and how it works how everything works together and um because i wanted to change things for the better in this world i wanted to uh try to fix some of this stuff going on and that's one reason why i always made fun of white people is because you know i was always like being told they're like these neo-nazis and the usa is a neo-nazi white nation and and i was like well you know we can fix the problems by like learning how to act better and well, no, eventually, I kind of got a different message. And I, like, I really didn't know how to take that for a long time. And I especially didn't know how to take it correctly. Because until I traveled across, uh, across the USA, I thought USA was a white racist nation. And, you know, I, I didn't see a lot of white people in USA when I went. I seen um, out here on the West Coast, there's like... Uh, a lot of Mexicans in California. And I think there's a lot of blacks, but I didn't see them outside. And in Portland, it's like, there's no, hardly any blacks or Mexicans, a couple, but there's mostly Jewish people. Uh, and um, I, I think that's where I'm at right now with uh, Bill Gates, who I can assume is Jewish too, um, you know, for many reasons, but just, I mean, assumption, he, he looks at it and, and he's one of the oligarchs. And um, so so I think like, like this whole city was built around those. And kind of like my city, I come from Columbus, Ohio. Uh, Epstein's pal, Lex Wexner, was like the oligarch who ran that city. He, he built a large, he built like his own city on the outskirts of that city. And then kind of like uh, his name was all over everything in the inner city. So I'm assuming John Kasich, uh, DeWine, Mike DeWine, and everyone else were taking massive uh, donations from him. But I looked into it, and on the sheets, it wasn't listed, of course. Of course, because that would, like, people would just be like, wait a minute, this dude's just funding your entire thing if he was doing stuff like that. And Lex Wexner also runs, he didn't just give Epstein a brothel, he also runs something called the War Room, where it's media... Um, basically controlling the media. He, he's, he's not the owner of NBC, CBS, ABC, Fox. Mark, he's not Mark Zuckerberg. He's not the owners of Google. But he, he ran direction. You see how Mark Zuckerberg and pals, they don't, they don't come out and discuss running the media. The media owners don't come out and run it, 
discuss running the media. That's what Lex Wexner did. Lex Wexner, behind the scenes, was like controlling what the media puts out and, and what gets out where. So, you know, like, and, and that ties into this directly because I'm talking about the media. And every time I look at a band, you know, I'm trying to analyze, like, who's in the band, right? Uh, because I want to find a place where, where heavy metal is, is excellent and people listen to it. And over the years, I begin to like, hey, look, the Swedes uh, play, they like kind of invented technical death metal. I mean, we have death here and death is kind of like all death metal in the one, right? Um, but, um, you know, uh, Finland or Norway, Norway is known as the inventors of black metal. Oslo, Norway had the back cave where uh, black metal was originated at. And uh, some of this stuff is talked about by, by one of the originators of black metal. In fact, black metal uh, is somewhat under attack uh, for, for, I mean, it's kind of like about killing people and stuff like that. Like, original black metal was about just destroying everything, destroying society. There might have been a couple things that weren't and stuff like that. But, but I mean, that's what it was like about. It was about like pure rebellion against everything. And, you know, I, I thought that was cool. I thought the music sucked back then. And I was like, yeah, hey, like, you know, whatever. I mean, not really much different than everything else I've been seeing in this world, especially these days. Uh, but what Varg Vickerns, he discussed this stuff, too. And they banned him because, um, I mean, they came after him, too. Um, and you got to realize I've done more than these people have. Although Varg, maybe his uh, popularity made him a higher target in some situations. But trust me, there's, if you don't know me, there's plenty of people out there who do. Maybe I should have worked harder on making it so no one knows me. But uh, I kind of, I had, I had reasons for everything I did. And, and I, I feel like I pushed their agenda further doing this too. Um, faster. I wanted them to move faster with their plans to exterminate the human race because I figured if I caught them off guard and made, made them do it faster, they wouldn't be prepared. Just like, and I think COVID has a lot to do with that. I, they're, they're trying to bring in the technological enslavement of humans. And I, uh, like, you can see it's like halfway, it's, it's pretty halfway put together. It's like they had to rush to do something. So maybe I did achieve my goals in that situation and if that's the case then you know i've got you know my side of things under control but apparently i have a problem controlling you know the other five billion people on earth and getting getting them to understand and see stuff but wow i mean <laughs> all this stuff should be like 10 separate videos right but anyways you know i looked into the music because you know, I, I analyze, like, everything. I gotta know everything. Like, literally, like, I'm out here looking at frickin' dirt on the ground and, and what every little piece of whatever I can find, like, just staring at it. I probably look like a retard to most people. They're like, what's that retard doing looking at the plan? It's like, well, I don't really care what anyone else thinks, but I'm, I'm analyzing and I'm studying everything in the world. And I just have this weird, weird driven weird drive to do it and uh the, the more i learn the more i see the more i learn i'm actually uh, it, it, it was beneficial and it, it could continue to be beneficial hopefully right but um you pretty much don't have like music that doesn't have one of them one of someone else in it there is no like white band out there I noticed that because it's like I'm not going I'm not going to Europe now because Europe and UK like what bands do they have they had like the Beatles it's like I don't want to hear that um, they have Bullet for My Valentine so there's not many like Europeans there in Hollywood there's uh it, there's no European music I'm not sure if that's because none of them actually make music or what maybe maybe they just do other things but uh I, I notice, you know, from the layout, I got to go to Germany. If I want thrash metal, I got to go to Norway. 
I gotta go hang out with the Norwegians if I want to be around black metal a lot. I want to go to Sweden if I want to hang out uh, with technical death metal, which was originally like where I wanted to go. But I'm like, nah, you know, I think I like thrash. And uh, Germany sounds like a sounded like it would have been a safe place, but I'm actually more concerned that Germany is probably like the worst place to go to um, because of events that happen that we only know the victor's side of the story and the other side of the story is Germany is a vassal state and the worst vassal state of them all most likely maybe they always were but apparently the empire has problems with Germany whatever the empire is uh, I, I throw that word around a lot like I assume everyone else knows that when you say that you're talking about something that can't be seen a shadow empire a different a, something that's not USA right the USA says it's not empire I'm saying you know most people are saying there's like a shadow empire that runs the world and going back to JFK he said there's like groups that you can't there's like a group you can't talk about everyone's scared to talk about and uh, so the music thing I was just looking at that and it's like why 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 does that have to be banned and look we're in it we're going into this technological age where they're sh they've shut down like free speech Zuckerberg and Google and, and the government's supposedly like grilling these people, but I don't think they had uh, no uh, know anything. But uh, at the same time, I, I think it, it really is. It's their government to begin with. So why would why would their government really attack Mark Zuckerberg? And again, it's not Zuckerberg and Paige Brennan Wachowski of Google actually doing this. It's people like Epstein's um, co-worker. Uh, Lex Wexner, who runs the War Room, uh, a media conglomerate thing. And then there's other oligarchs, too. You know, I don't know the name of every oligarch who owns a piece of media or has owned a piece of media. But you have Weinstein. Weinstein's a big name, isn't it, now? That's a big name. That's pretty much the face of Hollywood, of who runs Hollywood. But behind, behind the news, not the entertainment. So Weinstein would actually be behind this, what I'm talking about right here. It's almost like when you look at the bands there, that they there's one of them there, there's one of someone else in every band for like a control measure or something, right? Or maybe you're just simply not allowed to get popular if you're not, you know, in the Rothschild bloodline, and and I could see that, right? Like, uh, I mean, where am I not seeing that? To be honest, where am I not seeing that? And when I started traveling the U.S., I was, like, going places, and I was like, are these, like, I've seen so many Rothschild, starting with the ones who were, like, following me, and, uh, I was just like, man, like, are they, like, the only people on Earth? Why did they, like, shift into everyone else's form and then make it look like there's other people on Earth? Or, or something. I was like, wow, I'm really, uh, I'm really confused about what USA was because I thought it was a white racist nation, but it's a Rothschild racist nation. And I was seeing like Rothschilds. I all, I swear to God, that was Lord. That looked exactly like Lord Rothschild who spoke to me the other day and about my family. And and, and then the other dude looked like my dad as well. But I was going to stores and I was seeing Rothschild in, in, in like positions in the store, pretty much in every store, like leading, running most of the stores I went into. I, I quit paying attention because I just assumed it's case closed. And, you know, I've got a, like I recorded it. If you really want to waste your life watching a ton of videos, find a place where I can upload it because I can tell you for a fact that these free speech zones for Republicans like Big Shoot and all that stuff I've had I've had videos removed from there and I, I uploaded nothing but hard hitting stuff to that like I hope someone upload uh, some other people have been downloading my videos because you can't just rely on me to secure the world's history 
Um, because that makes me the only thing in the way if I'm the only one securing the history of what's been happening the last 10 years, you know, what's really been happening and not the mumbo jumbo, hocus pocus baloney, right? Like, I mean, who really is out there talking about what's really happening and what's really going on? Uh, I mean, me, right? Um, these other people are being deceptive about stuff and I'm trying not to. I'm trying to just point out and uh, ask questions, you know, like obviously, you know, like I did, did I do the documentary on who Alex Jones is? I definitely uh, spread the meme and all that and then the alt-right that came up and raised Donald Trump, like they attacked him and then they went to worship him. So, so they led everyone against Alex Jones and he was dethroned and then they brought him back to bring Trump back, to bring Trump into play. And, um, so, so what is exactly going on in this world and, and why does that happen with the music? Like I really, I don't chase money, so I've never had to experience problems of, of, uh, not getting a record sold, but uh, I was very upset when they removed my Memento Mori video because I can't do a drum cover of Memento Mori, but but they can. Everyone else can do a drum cover of Lamb of God Memento Mori, and that's odd because that video in specific got me attention. Uh, it got me attention in the real world too. It was, I was the first one to cover it. It was like an excellent cover. I'm probably playing drums better than the people in the band do, but I'm like smashing the drum kit. Like a lot of times when you play something like that, you got to be real light, like a little pitter patter, like a little bunny hopping around. And I'm just like this freaking giant stone giant. And uh, I mean, that was like a really good video. Like I'm, I'm if I, if I like really, someday someone will pay for that. Let's put it that way. I'm a good person and I don't hold grudges and stuff like that. But someday this will change. Someday all things change. I, you know, I'm a very diverse person. I, uh, I, I like to explore all options. And I find that even when I am something, I might end up being the other. And, um... I mean, there's going to be hell to pay eventually, especially if this, like, unfolds into exactly what it looks like it's unfolding, some sort of technocratic control grid lockdown. But, but I mean, here I am, like, I'm trying to be nice and peaceful, and I'm noticing my comments across the web are, like, not appearing and stuff, uh, pretty much in many places. And I've, I've been assuming that uh, they're locking me out of the internet as well. In fact, I'm going to shut up about this and make a new video about that because um, that's very important. But why is it that, um, you know, European don't people don't make music anymore? Like, what happened? I thought everyone loved the Beatles, right? I, I like Bullet from My Valentine. I, I hear they're somewhat European. I, I've not checked their bloodlines or anything, but I hear they're from the UK, although... I do question what the UK really is, is it was one of the capitals of the empire. And um, obviously the empire is just a group of people who have traveled from, they, they either killed or they were the people in Egypt. And then they traveled to what, Rome and took that over. And then they traveled to the UK, took that over. And then they traveled to USA and took that over. Um, and and then Australia, that's been, you know, that's been taken over. And, and then South America had some colonization too. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm just saying, like, I don't know who the Brits are. Like, supposedly I'm probably English and stuff. And it's like, I don't know who I am. So, why is it? Like, like, why can't I get this band stuck, man? Like, I really liked Bound for Glory. It was, like, really good music. I don't care what they say or what stupid stuff they say. Uh, listening to their music never made me go out and beat black people up. And listening to Public Enemy never made me go out and beat white people up, right? I, 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 don't, I don't need music to tell me what to do like that. But why is that? Why is it that people can't 
have some sort of decision that, like that. Uh, are are the humans like puppets? Are you guys uh, robots? And um, one of them has to be around you. Is this some sort of technological world where, uh, um, you know, it, it's like a theater, like an animatronic theater, and that would make me one of the one, or maybe one of a group of people who like pay to come here and do this stuff. Uh, I mean, and in. That could be an entirely separate argument on top of this. But but what is going on? Why does that happen? How come no one knows that either? Like, uh, are you guys just happy with that? Like, I had this one Nazi talk to me, and he's like, yeah, uh, I'm getting ready for you to come for me. And it's like, well, at least you're smart or something. I don't know, dude. But uh, you sound like an idiot to me. I'm, I'm just like... But people like that can't understand that, and then they blame me, and then he blames me. He's like, I'm preparing for you to come for me. It's like, oh, so now I'm the one doing all this stuff, right? Whatever. So uh, why is that? Why has that happened that that bands like Bound for Glory get constantly removed? They're not. A, I haven't seen their music in like six years on there. And... Uh, I, got, I still got a couple of their songs because I've I, I've been listening to their music since like 96, 95, 96. And, um, you know, it's just like really good music. Like, I don't care if my music is like Satanists talking about kill everybody. I mean, what's the difference between that and a Christian talking about something else and it's just covert kill everybody? I mean, it, it's not like... It's not like the music's going to encourage me to think one way or the other, really. It's uh, it's all up to me what, how I feel about something. And, uh, they they allowed that, but then like you know that even that one song is like it was it didn't even have like bad lyrics in it. It was just like a about like you know the love for my folk, and I assume they're they're probably Germans or something like that, so that's what they must be talking about, right, but, um, they don't want to be enslaved, that's what the song is about, and I'm like, of all the songs, like, I could see banning some other songs if you're, like, really a, really a, a like, weakling and a coward, and, and you're scared of a, a song, uh, but it's not about that, because there isn't, like, they're making music about like kill everybody and kill all these groups and kill all those groups and you know like uh it, it, there's there's really only like a couple things that get banned out there I've, I've tested all this censorship stuff that's what i've been doing the past 10 years along with everything else because i've been testing like you know what's acceptable in the world and what's not you got you got one idiot tells you one thing you got some sort of laws made by some other idiots and you got, you know, whatever. Like, I, I don't I don't trust what someone else has written. Right? Um, hold on. Yeah. Start getting paranoid about this stuff. When you're in a world that you realize is either sorcery or, or some sort of super, super high advanced technology. They control stuff. It's like getting weirded out when weird things start happening. I had to check on something. I had to check and make sure my car was still there. But, um, yeah, why is that? Like, why can't I go listen to that music? And, and how come when I look at these other bands, like, it's never really anything except it's like a, there's been a, like a complete takeover or something. And, I mean, according to the lore, before 2020, you could look online and find a bunch of information that made it look like, yeah, there's been a complete takeover. And you could still get uh, the book or documentary Hollywoodism, and it talks about stuff like that, although it talks about it in a different way. It says, uh, you know, the media was all racist, so they stopped it. But it's like their media is like, you know, the most hateful racist stuff. Uh, if you, you know, even it out, if you, if you look at it, like, I mean, what, Thigh Art is murder and, and stuff is not, like, hateful music, and I don't really care, it 
but I got like it. You know, I drum to it. It's like really technical drumming. It, it's so technical. I don't think a lot of these beans on the drum kits and can even play that music. It makes me wonder what else is going on. But um, yeah, so so what is that? Why does it have to be that way? Why why is there like certain groups who get censored, and then other groups can just go like crazy, and they don't get censored. And even when I look at black music, I think like there's always someone else around them. Professor Griff, Public Enemy, back in the day, he was like, that, you don't know who Professor Griff is, but you know who Ice Cube is and Snoop and all that, because Professor Griff, Griff talked about Palestinian rights, and they came to Public Enemy, Ice Cube and all that, and they had a discussion, and they, you know, they're like, you gotta quit talking about this stuff, or or they gotta kick you out of the band. And so Ice Cube and all your favorite rappers, they decided to kick Griff out the band because he wouldn't shut up about that. Although recently Ice Cube did say something, but he had a little meeting. He even said he had a little meeting. And then he came back from the meeting with a better tone. So they probably like like service some pictures of him or they can talk to you about stuff that that uh that no one was around to see. So they're they're like some alien group and they're using this you guys are aliens aren't you who are the jews i, I shouldn't say on camera you'll ban me won't you